and packaging. In testing, the wafer slides beneath a probe card. Thin metal probes make contact with each pad on the circuitry, testing the flow of electrical current. A computer keeps track of which circuits have failed. In the inking machine, the failed circuits are marked with a black dot. Wafers are mounted on sticky mylar tape to keep them intact as the individual circuits are separated. An optical scanner aligns the wafer by checking specific points. Then, in soapy streams of water, a diamond saw cuts through the silicon wafer without cutting the tape beneath. The dies on the wafer are separated but they remain attached to the tape. In die attach, a camera scans the individual die on the wafer. The electronic eye detects the ink blots that mark the failed chips and skips them. The good die are removed. Adhesive is placed in the cavities of a strip containing four lead frames. Each die is properly positioned and placed on the adhesive. A gentle scrubbing motion ensures a good contact. In an oven, the strips are exposed to high temperatures to cure or harden the adhesive. In wire bonding, thin gold wire is used to electrically connect the die to the lead frame. The thread bonds to the pads on the die and to the lead fingers of the frame. In slow motion, we see the thread connect to the pad and then to the tip of an individual lead. These pins, or lead fingers of the frame, are now attached to the microscopic circuitry of the integrated circuit. To protect the circuitry in its fragile wire bond, the devices will now be encapsulated in hard plastic. This requires a two-sided mold. Between each operation, the bottom mold is brushed clean. The circular cavities will hold pellets of plastic molding material. When heated, the melted plastic will flow through the small channels to fill the rectangular cavities which will hold the devices. After several minutes, the encapsulation process is complete. The remaining plastic pellets and excess plastic are removed from the mold. The leads are now prepared for plating. Inside this machine, under high pressure, sand-like beads will blast away any remaining dust or specks from the molding compound and the leads. <laughs> 